I could not feel uh, more fortunate than to be in this job and taking this carrier strike group on deployment here in a few days. And there's a couple of very special things about this deployment. As you know, it's the first deployment for George H.W. Bush which is the last of the Nimitz class aircraft carriers. It's the only ship in the United States Navy inventory with a living namesake um, who cares a lot about this ship and its crew. The other thing will be the first uh, strike group to deploy with an air wing that has our growlers, our new EA-18Gs, and then the first East Coast carrier to have our MH-60 Romeos and Sierras on board. I am the beneficiary of some really good timing. And when I came in the Navy, I was commissioned in 1979, it was not an option for women to go to carriers at all. And I, I feel very fortunate. I think, again, that, that the timing was such that you know, I could, I could be the first one, and somebody had to be the first one, and so I'm sure there will be many more to follow. Whether it's humanitarian assistance and disaster relief to flying, bombing, and strafing missions over land, to counter piracy, to um, anti-submarine warfare, air defense, any possible mission that we could be assigned, we train for. I think in the business that we're in, if you're not ready and you're not flexible, then you're in the wrong business because that's what it's about. Um, we don't know when our schedule may change, when our mission may change, and we've always got to be ready to execute our nation's tasking at any time. I mean, that's, that's the expectation. And so we've got to be able to meet that expectation. Every single sailor on every ship has got to be ready to do their duty to the best, to do their job to the best of their ability and, and to be flexible and to, and to accept that because that's the world we live in. And there's still a lot of uncertainty in the world right now. Um, there's a lot of challenges that we know that, that we could face. We will be as vigilant as ever as far as our force protection, both in port, at sea, both at home and overseas. Um, and, I, and I think it's something that we've just constantly got to be aware of our surroundings.